Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to do a little bit of a different video. Um, today we're going to do a tutorial on winged eyeliner. I get asked a lot about um, how I do my winged eyeliner and honestly this was something that I struggled with so much. Like eyeliner was just not my thing and I just literally had to practice how to do it because it's just... If you've never done it or if you have done it, you know it's like one of the most stressful things in makeup. It still gives me anxiety, but we're here to solve all those problems today. Um, so what I'm going to be doing is I decided I'm going to show you two different ways to do winged eyeliner. I'm going to do a liquid liner and then I'm going to do a gel liner and a brush. So that way if you want a more subtle or dramatic or if you have a preference, these are two different ways to do it. So I'm going to be using the Maybelline Line Stiletto you guys see me use in all of my videos. And then I'm going to be using the Ulta Gel Liner. This is in the shade Charcoal and then just a liner brush. This liner brush is um, tapered and it's actually curved at the top. You can get angled or flat. I have all kinds of different ones. But this is my favorite for gel liner just because it's the most like precise um, and easy to use in my opinion. I'm just going to go ahead and say my eyebrows are just not having it this week I'm going home and I'm getting them done so just let's just ignore those okay because I need to get them done I know that but you know I have to like let them grow out so you can whatever so just ignore those but yeah so um, if you are interested in how I do my winged liner then keep watching this video all right so to start out I'm just gonna take my tapered liner brush that I mentioned earlier and I'm gonna dip it into that gel liner this one's from Ulta, it's in the color charcoal, and I like it because it's not a super harsh black, um, but it still adds a really good color and definition. And as you can see, I'm starting at the middle and the inner corner, and just putting a little bit of product on to begin with to kind of get my outline, and then I'm going to go back with more product and just trace my um, lid. And as you saw me do, and as I'm doing right now, I'm just going to stretch out my eyelid. I find that this makes it easier to create a straight line. Um, often I like to put the brush down and turn my head instead of the brush because I find it makes a straighter line. Um, but I'm just going to go back with that liner and fill in to make it a little bit thicker. And you can do it as thick as you want. I prefer to have pretty thin top eyeliner, um, but it's totally up to you. All right, now as you can see, I'm going to take this brush and I'm going to draw a straight line from the outer corner of my eye up towards my brow. Then I'm going to connect that line to my top lash line by dragging from my top lash line to meet the line that I just drew. I'm just using small movements and slowly dragging out the thickness so that it looks more natural and not as dramatic. Then by just adding a couple more strokes and working in those details, filling in the line and making it as long as I want. I'm just gonna add those finishing touches to make the wing look just how I want it to. So that's all for the gel liner. I find that working with a brush, I have a lot more control of what I want it to look like and fixing those imperfections. So next we'll move on to liquid liner. All right, now using my Maybelline Line Stiletto, I'm going to start in the middle of my eye and slowly drag out towards my outer corner and then work towards my inner corner. I really like this liner because the brush, as you can see, has such a straight tip, but it's really flexible. It's a felt tip, so it makes it really easy to work with. Uh, just a side note, I'm sorry about the gel liner uh, camera work. This was way harder to film than I thought. And I for real thought I was on my game the whole time. I was like thinking I was slaying the game in the camera and it just didn't turn out. So sorry about that. But now we're gonna go and use the same pattern start at the outer corner and draw that straight line up. I always like to do kind of a shorter liner because you a shorter line because you can always drag it out if you want it to be longer. And then same thing connect the top liner to the line that we just drew and then slowly work on the thickness. And then I'm just going back in and making it look more natural by pulling them together and then um, dragging out the actual line to make it longer and then these are just little detail parts and then there you have your liquid liner this is my go-to I wear this like every single day I love it I think it looks really pretty if you don't want to wear any eyeshadow it's just a nice little touch 
All right, so I hope that was at least a little bit helpful. I know it still can be super intimidating and tricky, but literally just sit down and try it. That's what I had to do. It took me so long and I still like mess up all the time, have to redo it. So just keep practicing. Um, one thing I wanted to mention on the gel liner, one thing that I like to do is go back with that detailed brush, this brush I was using, and just dip it in a black eyeshadow and press that on top of the gel. That'll just help set it and keep it in place. Um, and that way it doesn't kind of smudge around. I find that gel liner is kind of, or at least this specific one I have at least, um, is can be more like, of like a softer feel and then liquid is much more like dramatic and harsh. And then you guys have seen me do eyeshadow liner. I like to do that as well. But anyways, I hope that this video helped you guys and um, leave me a comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe before you leave and I'll see you guys next time.